games that you play, did you really think that I would stay? Did you think that I wouldn't realize my worth? All the things that you did and you thought I deserved. Thought you could really do me like that. Put me in the dirt and then come right back. Oh, but I'm tired of the lies that you say. Tired of the games that you play. Tired of the talk you don't walk. Tired of the cheap effort you brought. Oh, uh, well, okay. Like oh, anything that is it for a man or a woman? It's for the Huh? And they're for Jackie. The blue ones too? Mm hmm. It's her birthday? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, pues. But I need her order here already, dude. She's leaving. What time is she leaving? I'm almost done. Uh, she's leaving at 4. Hold it right here on the top. Oh, she's leaving at 4? Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hurry up. Dude, if I knew you were gonna be this late, I would have just done the order. Yesterday you said you were gonna wake up at five, and I don't know what. I know, but, but that, okay, was before, that was before. That was before I got the traffic. other. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. You gotta go. So, do you want to explain what's going on today? So today we are going to your seatbelt, Mr. Julio, as always. So like today we are going to drop off these this flower order and then from there we're going to do another flower order and um, I don't know maybe do something cool for the video today what should any ideas um how was your show your uh, it was actually a party that I performed your perform at your party the party it was good it was really good actually I was nervous but once I got there I I was like, this is my job, this is what I do, and I try to be as professional as possible and did my thing. I sang for the for the guests and felt good. Felt, I felt really, really appreciated, especially it was uh, some, uh, someone's mom's birthday and the mom was like recording every single song that I was singing and, and it was nice. And it was like in a mansion. Yeah, it looked nice. It was a huge house, like huge, and and uh, yeah, it was really good. And next month, I don't know. I'm trying to like make my rent this this week or next week. And I asked Jessica if she could take me to Vegas because I'm only gonna be out there for like a day or two, or maybe three, the most. Mm -hmm. But I want to go and like just get this done. Yeah. I'll probably stay in my car out there. You went to Hard Summer? I mean, Rolling Loud? Yeah, I went to Rolling Loud. It was cool. Uh, the only I only went for like an hour. My sister like and my, like was super late, but I wasn't complaining because she invited me to go. And she paid for my ticket, so. But she then told me on the road, um, you could have gone a long time ago without me. And I gotta put water in, in that arrangement in the in the thing. All right, guys. So I'm gonna make this now, and hopefully it comes out nice. What are you gonna because... make that? Yep. You want
wanted it to work out Let's not pretend like you had your heart in the right place When you lied to me you We're the one with another side you We're the one with no love you We're the one who was two-faced Now you wanna play the victim Paint me as a villain and try to play the role Should I tell the story? If you want. Yeah? Okay. Alright guys, so... Wait, I'm gonna first tell the story of my famous sunflower painting. It was hand-painted by an artist that is insane because this artist's name is... I don't know, it's whatever L and then Mason and my little brother's name is Mason. And I didn't see that until later, but that painting means so freaking much to me. Like, I'm not into art and stuff like that, but now I feel like I am because this painting is, like, everything to me. And when I first got my first apartment, I drove by this art shop in LA and it was outside. And I saw it and I literally busted a U-turn and my ex at the time was like, What are you doing? We don't even have money. We just moved out. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... I just want to see how much this painting was four hundred dollars and I first did payments on it I did payments and then once I paid it off I freaking picked it up and it didn't even fit in my car I had to get a truck because it's pretty big and um, heavy and yeah I don't know it's like sometimes I stare into it and it feels like just like my soul right there like when I'm lost or anything I just I love this painting and you touch it, it's like you could feel the paint. The texture. Yeah. So this is my next um, really meaningful. I love having meaningful, meaningful things. Everything I feel like that I keep has a meaning to it. Everything. Everything, everything. And this right here, my friend Yuvi, um, she's a photographer and does other things. But she took pictures and she posted to her instagram story and i was like so intrigued by this picture and i was like where can i buy this like i just wanted it like as soon as i saw it and um she's like i'll let you know when it's for sale or like if i decide to sell and then i was like okay so then months go by and it's my birthday and she comes to my birthday party and she comes with like a gift and i'm like in my head it's like one of those things that like you feel like it's that but then you don't know and i like i have i don't really get that feeling a lot of like special things i mean i have a lot of special things in my life but very rarely do i see like an act like that where it's like you could feel it in your heart cuz like someone put thought and they they remembered something it feels good when someone remembers like stuff about you like in a long time i opened it and it was this picture and I was so happy. I was like, wow, she months later, like, actually printed out the picture for me and, like, gifted it to me for my birthday. And it was really nice. And I love this picture because, first of all, the horse, like, is an animal that represents me because they run free and they just run, like, one song that I like. Horses don't stop, they keep going. <laughs> it motivates me, like, and yeah, horses, they, like, in my head sometimes I just picture, like, thousands of horses, like, running together, like, and I feel like when I'm listening to music, I, I vision that, and I'm like, like, in my soul, I'm like, <sighs> or, like, I'll picture myself in the front of the horses, and, like, they start. <laughs> <laughs> in the pack? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I have superpowers and like the horses are running behind nice. me. Well, look, there's a hammer. We're gonna need that. Try one. You take one. Just one? Yeah. You don't need two? No, just one. You guys good out there, yo? Alright, uh, just need one. 
Perfect. Perfect. So what? All right, now to interview me a few questions. Today's vlog is about what my life kind of looks like on an everyday basis. Get, 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 get your freaking ass over me. You too. He listens, dude. Get away. Hurry up. Go over there. <laughs> Go over there. Watch. Hurry up. Get your butt over there. Right now. Rolex. Go over there. She's going to interview me. Come, we're filming a podcast. No, you're not. <laughs> Ask a question, please. Wait, hey, I want to get credit for this. <laughs> Tag Natty on the YouTube video, like put her. But your your account's private. They can't even follow it's you. Public, but please don't follow me. Okay. I'm public, but I love a private. This is my life. roommate, guys, Natty. Hello, everybody. So why did you want to ask her? Okay, go ahead. What inspires you to continue pursuing your dream? Ooh, that's a good one. What inspires me to continue pursuing your dream? Pursuing my dreams. My family. Good answer. And helping people. Like what I would do if I like achieved my dreams, how many people I would help. And the things that I would do. Like I was just thinking about that today in the car when I was listening to like, you know, like upbeat music. I started like thinking of like how it would be and then I, I always think like if I made it, I would have my sisters and a nice car, my parents, a nice house. And I would build like a rehab. I'd help like the homeless people. I'd build like shelters. And what impact do you want to have on people once you're famous? To like love God and to do good, to uh, overcome the struggles that we face every day and to still go after what you want and to still keep a good attitude when you're like at your lowest and to pursue like your dreams and always be who you are, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Hey, we can do this together, Julio. Well, that's the question you record. When you get your first million, what are you going to do with it? Why do I want to cry just thinking about it? <laughs> like, I get all emotional. You gotta be authentic. If it ever happens, I want to... For sure, I've always thought thought this, that if I ever start getting a lot of money, I don't want to turn into a person who, like buys a lot of things and and just wastes a lot of money but then it's like <laughs> my sister's here okay this is the person who spends a lot and buys a lot of shit come come say hi to the camera your fucking arrangement was fucked up oh i was gonna tell you i forgot and it was not a heart you fixed it i just fixed it for you oh what that is shit was like like a cheated hard on, like, you know? It was like... <laughs> I just fixed it, dude. That shit was not a heart. How do you not see that? What do you eyes see? What do your eyes see? I want to see how it looks Let's now. Go, Fuck, I'm lazy. Well, we're not done with the interview. Oh, yeah. What was your answer? Answer it. If I, when I make my first million... Oh, okay. <laughs> when I make my first million, no, I want to better. buy something that is gonna generate money, like always. Duh. I want to invest it. I invest my whole entire million. Obviously, I'll give like a cut to to like my family and Natty. <laughs> and um, after that, I thought about this too the earlier. I was like, if I become famous and I'm racking up money, like I'm always gonna give a percentage. I'm always gonna like deposit money into my sister's account. My mom, my dad, 
just you know like my mom my dad and my sisters always i want to take care of them if i ever get to be wealthy nice that's good and then and then julio obviously like whatever change i have in there like. <laughs> that's right that's right yeah <laughs> all right well let's go check out that flower because okay let's go Melly, so like the, 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 um, what is it called? The St. Patrick Day arrangement was sitting there for like a week and it was like, still looked nice. So that arrangement, I don't know if it'll be okay. To leave it in the heat? No, like to just leave it because they're picking it up on Saturday at one. So what do I do? What do you want me to do? Like suggestion, anything that you suggest? Like I if it was you your arrangement. put it in the fridge. What do you have a fridge for? <laughs> She's like, I want to put it on ice. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> let's see what she did. Let's see what, what it looks like now. Because she says that it's fucked up and all this other shit. Um. Okay. What do you think? It looks the same to me. It's kind of good. It looks better, huh? It does look better. She fixed this. Oh, yeah. She definitely fixed it. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. I know it was kind of boring because um, we didn't really have a concept or something to do for the video today. But next week's video, we're going to actually plan. So stay tuned. We're going to have fun and give you guys something cool to watch but in the meantime please make sure to like this video comment on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content anyways follow me at my social media accounts at twixxy818 and follow my homie blueprint he does all the content the editing all that and hit him up if you ever need videos and all that so blueprint all right.